Welcome to The Groove Juice. This week we will interview the Expandable Brass Band, which is a group of musicians that promotes positivity and fun. Uh, yeah, the band started. I wasn't there. I don't know. Somebody thought it would be a good idea. And then somebody told me uh, another tuba player. So I went, and it was it's great fun. Nothing but fun. Basically, we play any music that somebody in the band wanted to present to the band to learn. With Motown, there's some African music. There's, uh, uh, it's all, I would say it's American music. But I mean that in a good way. All you have to do is show up, and, and just, you can show up, you could be there, you can learn the parts, uh, everyone is very friendly and helpful, and you could, the, the parts could be really, really easy, a, in any song, you can make it really easy or more challenging, so. They're like, yeah, if you're a beginner, you can just begin, like, um, one of the trombone players, her mom just joined on accordion. And so I gave her the Muppet Show theme. We were learning it. And she just brought, she wanted to learn accordion. So she's learning it and she's playing the oboe part because it fits fine for the accordion. Um, so yeah, you don't have to have any experience. There was the first annual, I think it's called the Doozy Do Parade. It was a celebration of community that kicked off from 33 Holly Street. And the whole point was to be silly. So that was wicked fun. but um, people learn mostly from the charts um, that get passed out. And you can literally learn how to read music by just having the chart in front of your face, get a YouTube, and like, you know, just go note for note. And you can go by ear. People go by ear also. We usually play Sundays at Trinity Park, which is kind of across from Cooper's, that little triangular park up uh, in Florence. So. All you have to do is show up, bring an instrument, and we will set you up. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to email us at thegroovejuice at gmail.com for who you want to see interviewed next. Thank you. It was the winter of... 75 and a uh, big nor'easter came by buried everybody we were stuck down the bottom of a hole uh, for about two years where we actually had to resort to cannibalism but that's not so bad <laughs>